everybody, it's time for another update video. So, let's play Bunny Must Die again, because I don't feel like doing something else. I'm so original. So, yeah. I'm not working on my paper right now. Um, pretty much done, though, and I'm really just ruminating over everything, because you really do have an increase in... Uh, I'm not sure what we would call it. You... You can think about certain things, you can solve certain problems a lot better if you have a little brief period of ruminating. You know, just take a break and you think about stuff and then you can end up with novel ideas. It's probably not... You know, it's no reason to procrastinate like I am doing. But, it does happen, so... It's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And I would know about this sort of thing, because I'm graduating in a uh, few days with a degree, Bachelor of Arts in both Informatics, the Cognate and Human-Computer Interaction, and, uh, and also a BA in uh, Psychology. They'd be BS's, but uh, didn't have time to take the extra classes, and two majors after changing majors so many times, and still graduate in four years after graduating high school early. So. That was sort of hectic, so I'm really fine with how I did it, considering... Well, I'm fine with how well I did, considering everything. So it wasn't really the most optimal situation for most of things. Anyway, I'm doing this video just because I wanted to chill out for, actually. And uh, I also wanted to say that my group is still retarded. Um, every time when I meet with them in person, you know, that ha that has a very significant effect. By the way, meeting with people in person, you know, you can resolve conflicts a lot e better. That's why you should never don't do the angry email thing. Interact with people in person when you have a conflict like that. Um, when discussing ideas and everything, you can, you know, you just have an all around better experience. You'll get a lot less angry with them, no matter how stupid they're being, or no matter how stupid they are. So, yeah, there's, um, you know, there's some empirical evidence behind that, but unfortunately I don't have anything to cite, and I'm not going to find any, I'm sorry. Use Google Scholar, though. I love Google Scholar. This, one of the sadder, one of the sadder things, um, at least from a research perspective, is that once I leave here, once I leave the university, I no longer have magic access to almost every journal in the world, every scientific journal, so that will be unfortunate. And now I'll just have to deal with abstracts and hoping my assumptions about a paper are correct, which is always a terrible way to do anything ever, so don't do that. But it's unfortunate. Die. Whoa. So, yeah, I'll miss that, but I never really did as much research as I could slash should have. Oh, this weapon. But, yeah, I will miss, I'll miss lots of things about college, but I may be doing grad school next year. Well, not like this immediate next year, but I may, I'll probably be looking for grad schools, like, effective immediately. But, you know, and... My field, it really does make a pretty significant time. Why did I say time? Um, money difference. Actually, no, I said time. I was thinking a complex sentence that involved the word time. There's lots of... Oh my, I do that every time. Um, I love psychological effects like that, but I don't have time to explain them right now. Um, I love my psychology stuff. Oh, right, I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so, right, back to my groupmates being retards. So, okay, our presentation is mostly done now. Unfortunately, I'm not the one explaining the user interface, which is really retarded for a few reasons. For one of them, I'm the user interface guy. For another, I actually did the user interface. But if I explained that and the database, which I also did all the database, I would be dominating the presentation, which I should be, but we have to all give equal amounts of the presentation, so 
I have to let them explain the user interface, even though they, I'm sure, don't understand it quite as well, and don't understand the logic behind most of it. Okay, here, the way they had the interface, you know, everything was a fucking table, which in HTML is a big, big no-no, and they had really bad design, and all of their setups were really, really awkward and unusable. I mostly fixed this. I fixed all of the significant stuff and mostly fixed what they did. But now they're going to need to explain that and all of the design decisions. I don't think they can explain the design decisions, but, uh. You know, they will. They'll read what I wrote on the PowerPoint slide, at least. And I hope they will understand it. But. Yeah, the entire, the design for the site's layout, that is all me. The, the design, as in visual design, that's all me. I did all of the CSS. The menu layout is all mine, too. You know, they did some of the nitty-gritty crap. Yeah, they did some of the nitty-gritty crap. But, um, nothing... Oops. Did I save? They didn't do anything that useful. Crap, how far did I go? Uh, pretty far. So, yeah, they get to explain my... They get to explain all of the lovely things they did with the site that they complained about and didn't think I should do. So they're morons. Um, one of the biggest changes to the site was that I made this master page format where all you have to do is, every page on the site basically takes in, um, all of the pages output some HTML to give you something to display. And instead of displaying that directly to the screen, I always just pass in that HTML into this other page that didn't, then displays everything. So I get a nice uniform layout like that. And it always includes the header and footer of the page. The way they had it working was that at the top of every page you include the header and then you include the footer, which is a very HTML mindset. It's pretty much their whole mindset. It's GeoCities HTML. It's appalling. So I fixed that. And the worst thing about them complaining is that they do things wrong and then they insist that fixing the problem would be really hard when it's not, and, you know, they just don't want shit fixed, no matter how easy it would be to fix it. Like, just in this last um, session tonight, they were complaining that, okay, so the way they did one of the search pages was completely wrong and stupid, and they were using a post variable, ow, to send some information that really should have been a get variable. Don't, don't bother learning what that means. So I'm just like, oh, I need my page to use your page, but in order to do this, I need to use a get variable and explain to them, you know, you're not supposed to use post the way you did. So let's just do this my way. It will be really easy. And they're like, no, we should just take out that funk. They should just take out that feature. You know, we should just remove entire features from our product because... We didn't code it right, and we shouldn't fix the problem. We should just remove features. Wouldn't you love it if everything was designed like that? Just imagine how Windows would look if every time they found a bug in a feature, they just removed the feature, and they didn't bother to fix anything. There would be like eight features in Microsoft Windows 7. That's not an insult to Microsoft. Everything always has bugs. You fix them. You don't remove features. It's fucking retarded. But anyway, the fix was literally, I changed two words. Two words, and everything functions differently, and more simply, and more elegantly. And just all around functioned properly. But they just insisted that it would have been so hard, and that, oh, you're changing my code, you're making it run properly, what are you doing, man? Now, I've been fairly unilateral in this project, but that's mostly because, you know, when I do something, I do it right. When they do something, they do it retarded. I don't like retarded things. I must say that. You know. 
not in the politically correct whatever retarded thing, but, you know, stupid. I don't like stupid things. They are stupid. So, yeah. Literally, all I did was change the word post to get on two pages. That's all you have to do to change it. I don't think they actually knew what those words meant. I don't think they understood what was actually going on. Most of their code seems to be copy-pasted shit. And a lot of it is very unnecessarily complex. And very weird. And, you know, gives poor performance to boot. Pretty much all around bad code, but... This class wasn't really to teach you how to code. Um, especially not in the specific language. So... It's partly the course planning fault. You know, it really should have had some sort of web design, web programming, course be or prerequisite. But the whole point of it, I guess, was the group project stuff, and we... Well, I learned a lot about group projects, so that's the important thing, right? Anyway, I had other stuff to bitch about, now I can't remember any of it. Oh, let's talk about my paper. So, my paper is going to suck, but the experiment I'm writing it up about sucked, so I suppose that's to be expected. Most of my paper at this point is explaining what I did do and saying what was wrong and what I would do next time. You know, that's what... I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'm just hoping I'm not judged too harshly for fucking up the experiment and not for doing certain things better, but it's like, as long as I learned my lesson, that's the important thing, right? Because these were all a bunch of pilot studies by um, undergraduate and graduate students that most of them have never run anything more than, you know, a fake school study, which this was a fake school study, so. But still, it's a learning experience, and, you know, none of those results matter for any of anything of what any of us did. And you know, I had it I had four participants in my study. That was the, you know, that's the minimum amount, but you know, that's what everyone pretty much did. You got four participants per group member, and I did the project on my own. And I learned a lot of, you know, how I should have done stuff differently. That's pretty much the most important thing. It's just unfortunate that I don't... With classes like this, I never get to show, you know, how I would have done it right. I get to talk about how I would do it right, but... Because it was my first real experiment thing, and it was kind of fucked up, you know, I'm giving you my fucked up work. Why can't I give you my good work? Why can't I do good work and then give it to you, but... Basically half of my paper at this point is explaining all of the things I would do differently and tearing apart my own work, but damn it It's all true, and it's what's important and Too many people can't you know admit their failures, so I guess that's important too And very few of the papers we've read for this course actually, you know reference the problems in their own work, you know, like... It's very obvious that something was a pilot study or pilot evaluation and there was nothing empirical you could say about the product in that context, you know, they didn't... there was no empirical data at all. But, you know, they're not gonna come out and say that, you know. That was one of the evaluations... Um, one of the papers I read was an evaluation pretty much like that. But of course, they didn't admit that, you know, there's no, there were no statistics, and there's really nothing empirical. They were just saying, this is a prototype we made, and this is what it could potentially do. It was still a very interesting prototype. Interestingly, that one, um, I emailed the doct the uh, professors and research staff behind both of the projects, the touch display keyboard group that all they did was a prototype and no empirical study or anything. I haven't heard back from a single one of them. I got back a 
automatic message that said one of them was on vacation. And from the other group, which was by Microsoft Research, I got back six emails out of eight researchers. Um, they gave me their, like, Twitter info, and they're like, oh, here's a, here's a current build of the project, which that's fucking awesome. If I was still programming in Java, I would have uh, taken a closer look at the current version. But that was actually pretty awesome to, you know, talk jargon with them and, you know, say, oh, look, I read your shit, I thought it's awesome, and hear back from them about the current stuff in the projects. That sort of stuff I love. I wish we could have done more than that. But alas, we did not. So yeah, I'm, what I'm avoiding doing is just that paper of tearing apart my own methods and everything that I did. Which is basically what my other group kind of did not do. We did another terrible experiment. We had, you know, it was, it was the terrible experiment semester, that's what this was. Where we all learned what not to do in experiment, and we did that. Then we learned how to really avoid doing that, and then we didn't actually get to practically apply that information, unfortunately. But it was still a very illum illuminating semester. And I like these classes regardless. Uh, though the, the group project thing. Mm. Oh, and my Android class was terrible. Um, I thought it was going to be awesome. It's learning to do coding in HTML5 and Android operating system. Like, you know, app programming for Android. Problem is... The teacher, the professor, wasn't actually a professor. Um, she's the wife of some professor here. And she... wow. Bad English. And I don't think she's actually foreign. Um, bad English, awkward... Awkward everything. Pretty much everything that you could do awkwardly or incorrectly, she did that. The assignments we did were all just taken straight from tutorials on Google's... Um, you know, Google has a ton of tutorials on how to program for Android and, you know, just basically taking those examples, adding a little bit of their own stuff, and pretty much that's what you do. So to learn what you're doing, you just take Google's tutorial. Okay, I don't care about the bunny doll this much. So, really, we were just taking Google's tutorials and being graded on them. That's where all of the learning came from. There was some in-class stuff, but she's a terrible teacher. Like a really, really bad one. But I did learn how to do a good amount of Android app programming, and I would like to put out a commercial app, but um, I had... I was working with a pharmacy student here, but his ideas kind of fell flat. His ideas, ow, also changed every like five minutes, and he never knew what he was doing. But I also kind of welcomed when he stopped emailing me, because uh, I kept putting together stuff. I was kind of slow at first, but I put together some prototypes and stuff, and that's pretty much when I stopped hearing. Like, um, well, actually, it was right around midterms when I stopped hearing from him, and at that point I didn't really want to push the issue, because I'm like, you know what, I would rather get my own work done at this point. But, by the way, if anyone has any uh, Android app ideas type stuff, or would like to work with, um, you know, need some help or something with web design, I'd love a little side project. I'm just trying to build up my portfolio with some stuff. So I don't have anything that impressive out. And lots of people seem to need, you know, some simple web design help for stuff. So, and lots of people at least seem to think they have great app ideas. Alright, this room. That was kind of close. Funny dog. I've never gotten 100% on the first time through this. On a first, like, run through, I always miss a few dolls. But some are annoying. And some I just legit forget. 
only a few of them actually have to be backtracked to get. So I usually remember almost all of them. But, let's see, what else could I talk about? Oh, I was going to go all in it, out and indulge myself and get some. I got a bunch of... Get out of the way. Um, I got a big bag of Skittles and Starburst and a few energy drinks, and I was going to be all, like, energy drink party. Um, turns out I'm really bad at indulging myself because I got, like, one-fourth of the way through the bag of Skittles, and now I feel kind of slightly sick. Right, this one, I always forget that. Wait, no, I don't always forget that, but whatever. Um, see, I've finished almost none of the stuff I got, and... Also, they did not have... I hate brick and mortar stores so much. They didn't have the uh, monster drink that I wanted. I wanted the one called Anti-Gravity. It's in an orange can, and it's their nitrous technology weird crap. But it's got a really nice texture, and... No, it's carbonated, but it's not ow. Um, you know, it doesn't bite your tongue like most carbonated stuff. It's just a very, very smooth, and I wanted that. They didn't have it, and I went to three stores, and none of them had it. I ended up getting some... I ended up getting a different kind of the same type of monster thing. Which was pretty sour, and I didn't care for it as much. And I also got... What is this thing? It's z it's light or zun light out of this world. It is it's brain boosting energy. It's got blue agave. I, is it, I think it's agave. And it's low calorie, and it's got a very evocative aroma. It it actually seemed pretty tempting, but uh, took a sip of it. It's absolutely terrible. So um, I can't throw it away. I'll just find someone that doesn't mind drinking my... I didn't drink very much of it, but someone that does not mind finishing the, that off for me, because it's pretty terrible. Oh, it's, that would have been badass if I had jumped the right direction. Also, my health is still really low, so that didn't actually help at all. Damn it, I want the swords. So, yeah... Don't, Zun out of this world is pretty terrible. It's blue. It tastes not so great. Why do I always try to use the the stupid spike hammer with this chick? Oh god, please don't kill yourself. Okay. I'm terrible with that weapon, and it's really not a good choice for her. But, so yeah. I also got um, some form of rock star drink, but I don't feel like drinking anymore. Oh, the nice thing about the, um, the one reason I did like the monster drink is that it's an energy drink that didn't just make me feel jittery. I didn't really feel that much energy, but it was okay. It tasted good without, you know, giving me the stupid caffeine overload -ness. Uh oh. Turn away, bunny! Horror. Horror. Oh. Ha, <laughs> you're dead already, bitch. All too easy. I wish there was so much more to this game. Alright, in here. I played the hell out of... Ow. Okay, that was pretty badass. I could never do that intentionally, though. Like, that was kind of intentional, but still. If I said, hey guys, check out me blocking all these spikes, I would still be dead. Completely forget. I keep forgetting what I'm talking about. I think I was just fawning over this game, despite certain crude humor. Um, I really love this game. Alright, the buttons. I'm not sure if the but. Alright, the buttons aren't completely necessary, are they? Maybe they are. Um, let's see what else is going on. Oh yeah, since I'll be heading back home pretty soon, um, actually this weekend, um, videos will be harder to do. For one thing, I won't have my good internet access anymore. 
I will be back at my parents' place, unfortunately. So perfectly quiet opportunities will be less often. And I guess those are the main reasons. What? I killed you. But yeah. Expect less videos after that, but I was still will try to get stuff out. I'll have more the ironic thing is, I'll have more time to do that sort of stuff. But the internet connection is terrible, so it would be kind of awkward. And I would really love to play Team Fortress 2 more, but at home it will the connection will be terrible. I like that game. I usually play as a medic though, not as the any of the offensive classes or anything, but I still have fun. I sort of like just playing medic and just chilling out and voice chatting. Medic is, um, unless you're under immediate attack, pretty safe. Hmm. Could have sworn I had something more to bitch about. Hmm. Well, there's the group from my uh, psychology class. They. Oh, that leads me to a greater issue to bitch about. They, um, they were interesting. Most of them were okay. One of them just never fucking responds to email. But our, we got like 100% on all of our assignments so far. So I'm not worried about that anymore. You do need those buttons. Onward. Um, so, I don't know. I'm fine in that class. We have 100% on everything. And I only noticed this late, um, after one of the group mates told me, she said, Oh, we have 100% on everything else, so I'm not that worried. I'm like, oh, I didn't even notice grades were up. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of them weren't up. Yet. Oh, right. It's this room. I'm not... Some of the decisions in this game were sort of odd. It's a very interesting game, but... I can't explain what I'm talking about, because it would take forever. Just trust me. Also, the walls are grapes, and you can't unsee that, ever. I used to think this was just a normal cave, and then I saw something in a walkthrough about this being called Grape Madness. Oh god. Um, no! No. Bad touch. Bad touch. Those bunnies are dicks. Um, this door is randomly open. So yeah, this place is made out of grapes. Jump too far. I can... I can do such a badass run-through of this area, too, but I fucked it up. And... I can't see. Alright. Bunny doll right here. Go away, flame ball. Oh. Should probably have used that save point. I'm terrible about doing that. I've been gabbing for 30 minutes. I hope you realize that. Maybe you're more... Actually, I'm sure you're much more aware of that than I am. Because the more you enjoy something, um, the, um, you know... When you're enjoying something, time seems to pass faster. When you're not enjoying something, time seems to pass slower. It's a very useful effect to know about in usability testing. I wish I could explain stuff like that a bit more concisely, because uh, I love that sort of stuff, and I like to explain that in my videos, you know, when a game makes me feel um, like a state of flow, so it's good to point out, but I always have to try and explain it every time, because most people aren't going to know what that means. Yeah, I'd like to do more usability analysis style reviews of games, but, you know, uh, most people aren't going to know what I'm talking about. And, you know, most people just want to hear the jokes and all that sort of stuff. So, I try to refrain on that. I try not to do that too much, but I do try to give a little bit of extra info. You know, when there's a specific usability concern, I always try to mention that. Oh god, those things. 
Right, I have to turn the lights off. This is why I never turn on that last switch. I forgot about that. When you fully light up this area, those... Ugh, so ugly. Those things start appearing. And they really hurt. And there's really no reason to keep the lights on. It's not that unplayable when it's dark. Right, right you. Yay! Oh, you. Fuck. You. Fuck off. Heart. I hurt you guys. Weird thing about this game is you get max health way, way before you get max magic up or max time. Also, that is like the meanest secret ever. I found it by accident. And if I didn't find it on accident my first time, I don't know how I would have ever found it. I would not have intentionally jumped into these spikes. And these aren't spikes you can accidentally fall into. I just did uh, too bit... I just... I think I did too far of a jump or something. I don't even remember exactly how I fell onto these. This game does lots of mean tricks like that, though. That's why your first playthrough is going to take... Perhaps literally five to ten times longer than any other playthrough might. That's why I'm much, much better at this game now than I used to be. We're going to leave you off. I don't like you, Mr. Button. You're a douche. Hate that guy. Frickin' frat boy button dude. He's all like, hey man, I'm a button. I'm going to turn on the lights and play the music all loud. And I'm like, dude, you are so not cool right now. Also, this weapon is so not cool right now. Actually, this is pretty much the best weapon, but it's just boring. Ah! It's like the plasma cutter. It, no matter how practical, it's still more fun to just use the force gun and the, uh, what's it called? That machine gun. What is it? Anyway, I love that. And I love the contact beam, even though it's completely impractical in almost every situation ever in that game. The javelin gun in Dead Space 2 looks fucking awesome, though. Also, this is officially now just me completely rambling and not even, like, ranting because I'm... whatever. This is just, um, this is my flow of consciousness episode. By the way, I hate flow of consciousness as a writing thing, but uh, I guess as a vlog thing. All right. Shit. The thing about that area is, if you touch the blue fire, this door closes. Oh, it doesn't close if you... Oh, yes, it does close if you've already been in. So, uh, the guide I saw tells you to just run straight through, but that's retarded, because if you just run and hold down the jump button, you jump bounce along the dolphins. Also, dolphins are bastards in this game, so hate them. Not sure if you can kill them or not, I never bother. They're just another way to get that door closed. Not sure why I'm bothered to explain this to you. But you should play this game. I will... Finding this game is difficult. If you want to play this game, just ask. Uh, and I'll find some link or post it. Um, so unfortunately, it's made by a Japanese developer, and there's no English option for the site. And even I couldn't... I explicitly wanted to buy more of his games, and I could not do that from his site, which is unfortunate. Actually, even with Google Translate and shit, it looks like most of his stuff was only available on CD, which is like, what the fuck is that? Is this, like, is this the 90s? Or did we... When did this become the 90s? It is not okay for your stuff to be only on CD. Like, I would, I would pay, like... $50 right now. I want Bunny Must Die, but... Wait. Okay, okay. Let's do that right. Okay, I wasted too much time. Ah! Screen! Stop, stop, stop that. Oh, great. Now I'm in the torture chamber. Thanks. Okay. Let's try that again. But yeah, I would like to buy more of his games and stuff. But I can't, because the site's in Japanese and there doesn't... There's no, like, pay me money here, download here buttons. I guess I've run out of things to say at this point. Oh, right. I am i didn't even need to go that way. 
I need to go get something important. Something embarrassing but important. Embarrassing but important reminds me. Um, ow. Recently watched the season finale for My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, which is a great show. I really love the final episode. It tied the, tied the season together. It was a great, it was a powerful ending. And it wasn't quite as I, I was expecting. Um, there were certain things that were very obvious, but it is a kid's show. Um, they do fall into certain kid's show traps a bit too much, but, you know, it's better than... I would say it's pretty much the best kid's show I've seen. Um, I love my Tom and Jerry and stuff, but I didn't like the cartoons as much as the comics. But that may just be hipsterism, because I read the comics first. And also nostalgic, nostalgia goggles, because I read the comics when I was like six or something. Maybe younger. Um, I read them from... I always had a collection of my dad's kitty comic books. Tom and Jerry's were some of my favorites. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, the... Um, my Little Pony Friendship is Magic is actually legitimately good, which is why I guess it's considered a meme in some sense, but it's got its own 4chan style board, it's got its own wiki. Well, everything has its own wiki. If if it doesn't have a wiki about it, it just does not exist. It's as simple as that. If there is a show, there's a wiki about it. There's also a fan, um, you know, a fan system for it. But... Um... Friendship is Magic has a fairly, well, the community seems awesome to, and big to me. I've never been part of such a thing before, though, so I don't know. But I don't know of any other um, show fan group that has their own, like, 4chan board. And the site can work surprisingly well, like uh, 4chan, um, in unfortunate and fortunate ways. But it's kind of amazing that, you know, it's just, it's 4chan with, like, instead of gore, you have ponies. And instead of racism, you have ponies. And so, so it's kind of nothing like 4chan, but it's like, it's got the visual layout of 4chan. And it's got the some of the stupid threads, like, it's got some of the memes and the get threads, which I fucking hate. But it's an interesting, uh, I still find the get thing very fascinating. I find lots of the flaws in 4chan very interesting because it's... A lot of them are artifacts of their setup as, you know, an accountless board where you... You know, a lot of the functionality is a result of that you don't have a user account. You just have... You know, you can have your trip code and a name, but most people don't. As a result of that, you have host numbers, and that's how you get gets which is, gets a retarded, so that's unfortunate. But, you know, in no other system would you really have that. The worst you usually have is, you know, um, the first post thing. And, you know, that's usually restricted to only the first post in most systems, because that's the only definite post where you can be like, oh, I have the first post, and no other is like that. The interesting thing with gets is that every post has a number, so you can be like, oh, I got 11134 posts ending in 11134 names the site, derp. And you get 11 billion threads like that. Then you end up with people talking about 4chan, cancer, blah blah blah, killing slash B. How is that pronounced, anyway? Is it just B? Is it slash B? Is it B slash B? Or is it slash B slash... I mean, visually, it's slash B slash ow. And now I have the bunny suit. I'm not sure why this is allegedly called the bunny suit. She was clearly wearing a bunny suit before. If anything, this is the tit suit, but that's... I suppose the name is a bit less appropriate. Also, let's get rid of it, because it makes the jumping fucking awkward. But yes, in case it wasn't clear, I love ponies. Well, actually, I hate... Have you ever seen a horse... Those are motherfucking ugly. I just have to say that right now. But the friendship is magic. I do really like... Oh my god. Okay. Those guys can squish you into the wall and kill you in one hit, so... Don't die. Just just don't die. That's... It's my life advice. If you succeed at that, 
then you win at life. You really do. Fortunately, most people do not win at life at some point. They forget. They forget that advice, and they do in fact die. It's very sad. It really is. Usually. Sometimes. Sometimes it's sad. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes I almost fell into a bit of spikes. That sometimes is too often. We're at 45 minutes. I'm going to get back my orb. And I'm going to call it a video. Oh! I should have said this way earlier. Um, if you want to contact me or like say something to me that I actually read, please don't leave a channel comment. Leave a video comment or send me a private message. I've noticed several people sending me, um, you know, giving me channel comments. And I'll read them like maybe a week later or a month later because I do not check those at all often. And replying to those is really awkward. So please just leave a comment in a video or a private message if you want me to actually read something. I guess if you just want to say Sir Tap Tap is cool or Sir Tap Tap eats babies, you can just leave that as a channel comment, but I may or may not ever see it. If you want to be like, hey, play this, just send me a PM or a comment. I don't really care for how they do the channel comments thing because of that. Because I can't really reply to them. I can send another comment on my own video or on my own channel, but then you may not see it. Or I could just leave a comment on your channel, but the thing about that is there's no coherent conversation, there's no thread there. Right, I was going to end the video. But yeah, channel comments are bad. Do not don't do them. This is your brain. This is your brain on channel comments. Oops. I hate this power. It's it allows you to be so badass, you know, it's matrix time and stuff. But I only ever activate it on accident, and I always forget it even exists. Which is a shame, because I could be so badass if I wielded it properly. I don't. So please save point now. This is one of my longest videos ever, and I'm not really talking about anything coherent. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. It's sort of oddly therapeutic, plus I love this game, so... Whoa. Oh, there's a button there. I've played through this game like ten times, and I never knew this button was there. That actually makes things a lot easier. I can, If I can just get in this... Wow, that would have been helpful to know. Anyway, thanks for watching if you did. Not sure why you did, but thank you. So I've kind of, I find it kind of funny. My rant videos get more views than my Minecraft videos, so... I'm kind of back to the position of I don't want to do those anymore. What? I just got the weapon that kills you! God damn it. I hate you so much, Time Cat. How many times have I said that? Time Cat, you are a bastard. Time Cat, my mortal nemesis. But yeah, ending video.